Okay, here we are. We have uh, some Sonic. Uh, what are these things? Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. Yeah. Uh, we got a little bit of code going on over here. Fun, fun, fun. And here we have our homemade CNC machine that we're gonna try for the first time. We're gonna try to make one complete revolution. So uh, here, let's get down here so we can actually see the. Uh, the things turn. I'm ready. All right, let her rip. Hey, hey. First turn. Awesome. Wow. And wheels barely turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out to make this thing turn faster, that's for sure. Well, I know how to make it turn faster. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so let's pause this while he sets that up. All right. All right, we're gonna try to speed it up by a factor of four. All right. Oh yeah, that was a lot faster. That was good. Well, this is uh, this piece here. It's a. Uh, plastic cutting board that we tapped and under here we have grooves that go sideways because these screws uh, they do have a little bit of a, a, a warp in them they're not the greatest uh, lead screws but it's all we had at the time so that's what we're using all right so this is a factor of 10 factor of 10 faster from the first all right okay I think we found our limit yeah yeah that's our limit all right Okay, so we can't go that fast. Um, factor of 10. Let's see what this tilt is. That works. I could have sworn we had this faster or something. There you go. All right, let's see uh, how long it takes to go from one side to the other. Go ahead and get it down over to here. And, uh, and then we'll do reverse go the other way. Okay. All right, this is what I was talking about, how it being kind of warped a little bit. It kind of goes up and down a little bit. But and as far as slop goes, slop as in the motor, refusing to, um, as in this part, like not giving when it moves over, it's, extremely low the problem the slot we have now is an imperfections in the way yeah we it's a uh, side to side like this we have a little bit of a flop so we're thinking about adding in uh, two motors eventually right now this is we just need to get it to be working and then we'll worry about that oh hey. I think there's something in the way hold on yeah there is <laughs> it's hitting the the blocks that we have we can turn this thing upside down yeah so let's uh, go ahead and turn this up the other way now that we've seen it we got, we're gonna try to move an inch. That's we're right. We're gonna try to move an entire. All right, you guys ready? All right, go ahead. Man, that's a big fat no. Wait. There it goes. All right. That needs to stop, Andrew. Okay, there. Whew. All right. We can go a few more inches, Dad. Yeah, we can. I just wanted to make sure. We should probably get the ruler out and check to see if it's going in the right edge. That's a good idea. Let me go grab that. And we're at uh, three inches right now. It's funny, it's right to the edge, too. All right, go ahead and hit it. Wow. See if you can go back. The other direction. Did it go in the exact inch? Uh, can't quite tell, but it looks pretty close. You ready? Yeah. Let's go back. Yeah, it uh, looks like it's pretty close to an inch. All right. I did the math. That's about seven seconds per inch when I timed it. Right. Somewhere okay. in that area. Wow. Okay. It's pretty slow. 
honestly. <laughs> yeah, don't put your drink next to the electronics. If it gets knocked over, it's ugly. Well, that's it pretty much for now. It's a little code and a uh, little raspberry pie over here. And we got one uh, motor driver, and uh, these are NEMA 17s. It's not even warm, that's good. Oh, it's not even warm? I was expecting yeah. it to be warm. Well, actually, it's it's warmer than room temperature. This one's cold. All right, we're gonna try to move it 12 inches. So if it's moving uh, an inch every seven seconds, is that what you got, or? Yeah. All right, so 12 times seven. You ready? <clears throat> yep. It's gonna be there for a while. Yeah. I don't think we're moving an inch per seven seconds. We're not. Uh, I increased the delay. We should be moving about an inch about every 10, 11 seconds. Okay, that sounds about right. It's pretty quiet, actually. It's pretty quiet, just really, That's really slow. <laughs> Yes, you can see the wobble on it. I think we're going to have to put two motors on it because it's just kind of rocking back. Two and motors forth. will also give us more torque and let us um, speed it up. Speed it up too. Okay, all right. So that's something we'll have to work on later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's the ones and zeros for the uh, motor to run. Okay. So the steps like here. See. These refer to the on-off positions of the bipolar parts of the motor. And that's yep. what that's that's what that's what that's what that refers yeah, to. That's that, and that's straight out of the data sheet for the motor. Oh wow! Hey, we're getting close. We could use that to figure out how long it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This should stop uh, right there. This should be just on this side of the 12. This far side right here should be uh, right next to the 12, if it's correct. Wow, that's pretty doggone close. That's like we, right on the, we right might, on the money. We might be like two steps off. Might. Let's see if I can get in here. It's a wow. Yeah, I don't think we could get any closer. <laughs> well, there's the accuracy you want. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's pretty much the machine right now. The machine, person of interest. <laughs> Great television series, by the way. Okay, uh, I think we're just going to call this a good one for right now. Uh, tomorrow, we'll see about working on this axis and getting the limit switches incorporated. I think we're going to have to use some, use some heavier wire for these, too. Uh, the wire that comes with it is kind of wimpy. It's more on the lines of these right here. And it's got a power has to run through those and then run through that. And then that these basically power that. So if we hit a limit switch here, uh, this is how we did our limit switches. Uh, the little thing hits the switch and interrupts the power. And then the way you back it off is you, we have little handles right here that you can manually back it off the switch and go back at it again so and we decided to do that uh, just as a safety precaution for the code it's new code uh, we don't know how it's going to work so that's what we're up to anyways this is the uh, CNC machine that uh, we've been building over the last month on and off and uh, definitely we have some quirks to work out of it but it has been a serious uh, whoa what happened there focus uh, definitely we have some quirks to work out on it and it has been uh, uh, some serious <laughs> serious learning curve on how I'm building these things and my hats off to anybody that can design and engineer one of these things that's for sure so that's it for tonight uh, keep none you out God bless you all and have a good night bye